Hi friends, this is Jam here, aka Kara 3 and welcome to another deck profile. This time we've got Subterra Gigas, a deck I've been trying out for quite a while. And I kind of liked it, it's kind of a, of a nifty idea where you use the armor's effect to flip it face down and take an advantage of the second effect of the Subterra big dudes, spec them from hand. So turn 1, uh, you don't have to do Subterra Nemesis Warrior to get these guys out easily. Uh, still, Nemesis Warrior is really good, uh, so without any further ado, let's go into the deck profile. Uh, this deck's getting new support in the next set, obviously. Uh, I think they're getting one trap and three monsters, which is awesome. So, um, when the next set's out, I'm probably gonna switch to another pure build uh, to make it more appropriate. But uh, this time we've got the Gigius in because uh, Gigius also, other than the flip flip flop thingy, is to uh, it gives you uh, rank fours easily, so it's easy rank four access. Uh, we also played the Brilliant Fusion Engine to speed up the deck a little bit and to uh, have some funny techs I like playing to try out as well. So, uh, first card is Nemesis Warrior. Play three of it. There's only four Subterra cards out, and uh, you need to have as many of these Subterra monsters as you want because you need to pitch cards with Stalagmo to draw two cards with it. So, awesome card. You can use it either player's turn. Uh, don't forget, you can also tribute face, mo face down monsters. Uh, so, Subterra, a Subterra monster like. Uh, behemoth, the subterra behemoths, you can just set them. They're always set anyway. Or you can use Gigi Armor as well, uh, which is quite common. Uh, although I, do, I don't like tributing it face down, uh, but it's, it's sometimes necessary. But yeah, play free. And uh, second effect is awesome. It gives you rank 4 access as well as subterra access from the deck. Uh, you summon it from your uh, graveyard if you control. If you flip a uh, subterra monster, you control. So, pretty awesome card. Uh, one of the best cards in the deck. Hopefully, uh, you get some awesome support that can make it even better. Next set, and free Stalag uh, Stalagmo. This one's Umistrix. They look very similar. Uh, Stalagmo is this one. This is the Reptile. This is the Rock. Reptile is quite nice because you can search it with King of the Fralimps. And this one it vanishes monster if you flip it. And this one is draw two, as I said. Uh, this one's bigger attack. This one's bigger defense. Uh, don't really care about it too much, but it's 2k. They're pretty big monsters. And it's easy to summon this deck because, of course, we play the Gig Yama tech that can spec it from the hand. And once per turn, you can flip them face down. And it combos very well with the field spell, but I'll play three of each because you need to use the most effect sometimes to just draw cards, for example. And you do go through the subterra monsters very quickly. So, nine subterra monsters. Uh, good to the Gig Yama engine. We play free armor. Uh, don't forget the effect is uh, not once per turn to uh, search, so you can. Do some flip flop control you can as i'm going to explain in a sec there's some of the brilliant fusion techs that you can use to uh, flip it a couple of times similar to uh, gigi akurakuris where you flip it with uh, nishi patchy and you get a double search with the armor uh free of armors because you need to open it sometimes with the gigi uh, with the sub terrors so if you open armor or arsenal which uh, arsenal attributed something uh usually armor that's the only target really in defense position and you can flip armor face down and if you've got no other monsters that you control that's face up, you can just spec the uh, behemoth, subterra behemoth from your hand and like that in face up defense position. Uh, it's quite annoying that you have to spec it in face up defense position, but it does sort of make sense that you can't spec it in face down. I don't know. And then you can, uh, but uh, other ghost tricks do do that where you spec themselves face down. I wish you could just spec it in face down, but you can't. You have to spec it in face up. And then you use the effect of the uh, behemoth to go face down, and then uh, usually you use the field spell to flip it face up to get the effect. Uh, but the pro 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 problem with that is you're left with a face-up uh, attack or face-up defense position subterra monster on your board. Uh, but yeah, free, free, free armor, free arsenal. Uh, beta level four is pretty good, and also Gigi Arsenal, uh, Gigi Accelerator. Only one because I don't like drawing it early, and it's just there for the rank four access with the armor anyway. And also, also thing you could do with the Gigi Accelerator is if you got an arsenal or an armor in the graveyard. Uh, you can, if you have a accelerator, usually spec it in defense position, and you have a, a Nemesis Warrior, and you use Nemesis Warrior to tribute the Gigi Accelerator to summon. Uh, it's level eight, so seven or lower, level eight or lower. You can summon usually the level seven, which is uh, Umistrix. Uh, you get Umistrix uh, summon, and then you also get the accelerator effect uh, from your graveyard. It does not miss time. That's why uh, Nemesis Warrior could work very well with some of the new cards they could get because. Uh, the tribute effect doesn't make things miss time if they leave the board. 
So that's a pretty good thing you can do with this deck. Uh, accelerator doesn't miss time. Unlike in like uh, Gigi Karakuri's, where Accelerator will miss time because you have to Synchro Summon. Uh, in this case, you don't actually Synchro Summon, you do some weird Flip Flop Summon, that's what I'd probably call it, where you um, don't miss time. So pretty awesome thing you can do. Uh, I just play one though because I don't like drawing it early and you can't really spec this if you've got uh, no other Gigi monsters in your hand. And you usually want to flip Armor Face down anyway. And the uh, Subterra's Subterra Behemoth effects in hand, you can't summon them if you control any face up monsters and you can't flip Accelerator face down. Uh, also, there are some other gear gears that you can use. I think it's one that pops macro and one that pops monsters, but it's not. Their stats are as good as Armor. Armor's got 1 9 booty, which is pretty big, it's the best on this, and it searches as well, so it pops one, you flip it. So, that's the 7 card gear engine. It's pretty tiny. Uh, maybe in the next set, you can take these out if we get some awesome support. Uh, for the brilliant fusion bits, uh, play two Garnet. Uh, you can play Obsidian or Lazuli as a second target usually, but I like Garnet because it's just a 19 beta. Uh, but if you want, you can play Lazuli or Obsidian because you can pitch Obsidian, summon Garnet. Uh, but whatever, you, it doesn't really matter what you use. Uh, but Garnet, Obsidian, or Lazuli, the three options, but at least run one Garnet there. And the light targets for uh, Surrender Threat Knight obviously is uh, 80. It's a perform power trick line because it's level 4, it specs itself, you gain, uh, you lose 1k. And uh, ED Changer, a pretty awesome card with this deck because uh, it, you can banish it from the graveyard. Uh, if you've never seen this card before, what it does is it's a light monster as well, so it's awesome with Brilliant Fusion. You banish it from your graveyard, target a monster in the field, changes battle position. I tried that in Digital Bugs, it's quite an okay tech, I guess. But it's quite nice in this because uh, you usually do the sub terror thing where you have them set face down. And then you can use AD Changer to flip it and then banish a card with Umistrix or with Stalagmo. Uh, but more importantly, you can use Gig Yama's effect. So if you've got Gig Yama on the field and then you go face down, you can use AD Changer to banish it. Flip armor, effect of armor, usually search accelerator, and then you'll get your uh, search. So it's pretty awesome. And you can use do your rank 4 plays as well. So AD Changer, optional card you can play. It's just a cool tech you can play, I guess. And the other brilliant fusion target to dump is one of the new cards as well, the same set as sub terrors is Block Dragon. I do play uh, Gem Knight Zirconia. Uh, you may have seen it in the stream, I've been using it. And I use uh, this Block Dragon to summon uh, rank 8 like Titanic Galaxy and Falgrand. Uh, it's a rock monster, so you dump it with uh, the fusion material as well as one of the Gem Knight dudes. Uh, third effects irrelevant, that's only for our fight for um, Block 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 Dot deck or uh, Magnet Warriors. But the fact that you banish three Earth monsters from your graveyard is really good. It's like a mini Radox. Well, it's a bit of a, a Radox, I guess. It's got bigger stats, I guess. Um, but it doesn't have a hand effect, so it's kind of dead if you draw it. So it's only problem running. That's why I only play one. So this is Block Dragon there for the rank 8 plays because uh, this deck does dump Earth monsters in the grave extremely quickly. Like a Brilliant Fusion will usually dump a couple of uh, stuff. And you tribute. The sub and the Gigas and stuff like Arsenal get Earth Monsters in the grave very quickly. So, just the one Block Dragon, I like playing as an attack for the rank 8s. And as a late game, it's a big, very, very good uh, recurring beat stick. Also, it protects all your rock monsters, including Stalagmo from destruction. So, pretty cool, including itself as well. So, it's quite cool. Okay, that's all the monsters. Let's go to the spells then. Uh, spells, not that many, but about. Probably about 10 or something, I don't really count, but uh, two twin twisters because uh, people have been main decking anti spell and it's quite annoying playing against it because I do run field spells and brilliant fusions and uh, also against back row. Uh, there's no sub terror monster that gets rid of back row, so yeah, we don't have it yet because only a couple of cards. So uh, you just have to run twin twisters in the main deck because they don't have uh, in archetype back row removal. Uh, brilliant fusion, triple brilliant fusion. Should be easy to get hold of now because it got reprinted in the Megatin, so I just like running this engine for now because uh, it gives you the levels. Not only does it give you the like, additional normal summon or the rank 8 flays later on, it gives you the level for Nemesis Warrior to play around with later on uh, on the same turn. And uh, it gives you, it sets up a couple of stuff, so it's quite nice. Just free Brilliant Fusion and free Field Spell, the Hidden City, and two Terraforming to search it. Uh, it's not a pure build, so we don't play free Terraforming, but in a pure build, you might want to play free terraformings, like if we get new cards later on. But Hidden City, Unactivated Agent Search. Um, also, we can flip one face down, sub terra monster face up, which is awesome. Uh, it's usually good with this if you summon it on the same turn, that means you can't change the battle position manually. 
you can just use this to flip it and then banish your card or use Starlight Mode to draw cards. And the third effect is if you've got a face down sub terror monster, if your opponent attacks you, you just flip the monster and end the attack. So what that can do is also trigger the sub terror nemesis warrior in the graveyard. And then you can summon it if you flip the sub terror and then um, banish your card or you optionally use it. Uh, your opponent won't attack though if you, they, they know that card's on the field, so it's not it's not the best effect. It just stops your opponent from attacking your stuff, so it's quite nice. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work against Utopia the Lightning, which is the one of the most annoying things to deal with. Um, that's all of them. All the spells. Go to the traps. Uh, Vitus Emptiness, pretty, pretty good staple on this deck because a lot of your monsters are actually really big. Um, the stats of them are 18. Um, other than the sub terror ones, of course. Uh, like the normal summoner ones, normal, normal summonable ones, it's a 19 attack, 18 attack, uh, potentially 17 and then 19 depending on how many monsters you control, uh, big attack, uh, so and this one's 19 defense, so if you have Vanity Sentinels, I've had some games where I just beat down people and then have Vanities on board because they can't, like blue eyes players, they can't play with, they got a big beat stick and they can't do anything unless they got Twin Twisters or something. Um, generic stuff, Mirror, mirror Force because no one sees it coming, Compose. Uh, this is for Aphlesia, Bombless, and Floodgate Trap Hole. Uh, I like people playing Floodgate Trap Hole because Floodgate Trap Hole sucks against sub terrors, so please play Floodgate Trap Hole. But in this deck, I do play Floodgate Trap Hole because uh, it's one of the strongest ones right now. You can just face down, you can just banish it with Umastrix later on, so you don't really care about them, whatever monster it is, how big the defense is. And Bombless, one of the best uh, trap holes in the uh, game. Two strikes, you can play three if you want, take out one of these traps, but. I like playing two in, in most decks, and not it's not a complete stun deck and a warning. And Burst Rebirth, the uh, mini tech, I used to play Call of the Haunted, but Burst Rebirth is cool because it summons something in face down defense position. So it's it's quite annoying if your opponent attacks and then you have Burst Rebirth, you summon it on the tricks in face down. So that means they all get banished, so they'll just stop attacking. And 2k is not too much because uh, they don't really take that much damage, especially until mid game. And also, uh, advantage over Call of the Haunted is that it's a chainable trap card, it's not continuous. So, if they blind MSC or Twin Twist through it, you can just chain it. Starshell, Monster and Grave, you don't lose the monster and get destroyed. So, the Spawn Beast Burst Rebirth, though. That's good enough. So, that's all the cards in the main deck. Let's go into the extra. Uh, start off with the Brilliant Fusion stuff uh, Seraphonite and Zirconia. The uh, main reason for Zirconia, as I said, is because we run Block Dragon, so you don't Block Dragon and a Gem Knight, and you got a level 8 on board, that means that uh, if you got a Nemesis Warrior as well, uh, you can just, on your opponent's turn, if you don't have any other players, you can just tribute these two for up to level 12 sub terrors in your deck, so even in the next set, we'll get any levels, you can summon anything with a Zirconia, so perfect, perfect level, level 8, to tribute with the Nemesis Warrior, it gives you access to every single sub terror monster. Uh, Seraphonite. Uh, the additional normal summon is quite nice because you can normal summon this. Um, usually dump the AD changer with uh, this one. So what I usually do is if you've got a sub terror in hand, a uh, nice combo you can do with Seraphonite is summon Gigiyama, uh, effective Gigiyama, flip it face down, summon a sub terror. It doesn't really matter which one, but depending on which one, it might be you might do some cool combos. But in this case, we just use one. That we're not going to use this turn, so we use Summon Stalagmo, go face down, drop Brilliant Fuse, so then Summon Seraphonite, and you can dump uh, AD Changer and the Gem Knight, that's in the grave now. And even if you've got a Sub Terror in your uh, hand, uh, you can now use AD Changer to flip, so, to flip the Stalagmo, and then you can discard this. Or if you don't have Stalagmo, you have Umastrix for example, so you just keep it face down. You can use it to uh, flip the uh, armor and get a search for an accelerator usually. Uh, this this build, this build uh, this field is extremely prone to uh, mass destruction though, like Raigeki. Uh, this deck in general is very very prone to mass destruction which is quite annoying. Uh, search armor, and then if you've got a you know, just worry, normal summon it, additional normal summon, and then you can spec armor. Uh, sorry, not armor, accelerator. And then you can flip this face down. So that's pretty cool. Now you got now when you tribute this for um, Umistrix, uh, you can get the effect of Accelerator if you uh, have a Gigi in the graveyard, for example. Like in that example, we could have used uh, Arsenal to summon armor as well at the beginning, so we could have grabbed that. So an extra plus for us. Uh, but you got five monsters on board; it's quite nice. 
and we got uh, a lot of place for the Traffic Knight. You can also double Trick Clown for that for a rank 4 play, which is quite good. Uh, a bunch of plays you can do with Seraphon Knight, so that's why the Bird Infusion stuff kind of works. Although I do like the Block Dragon more. Um, rank 8, uh, we got Titanic Galaxy. Titanic Galaxy is just for turn 1 stuff, or mid game if your opponent has still, still has cards they can use, like spells, obviously. And Felgrind, because we sometimes have too many Earth Monsters in the grave. Uh, it's a Ghost Rail one, you can't really see that very well, but that is uh, the Divine Dragonite Felgrind. Um, if you've got too many Earth Monsters in the graveyard, you can just summon Felgrind with the Zirconia and the Block Dragon. So overlay those two, turn rank 8. And then you can use Effect to negate something, and you've got too many Earth Monsters, you just summon Block Dragon, and that's uh, more damage that you could do, that's why Felgrind's quite good. And there's also one way you can use is I'll say the Sylvan High Arbiter. Uh, a bunch of techs you can try out. So uh, pick a rank 8 really. Uh, Titanic Galaxy is highly recommended though because it's one of the best ones right now. But uh, Felgrind is just a flexi spot. Just pick whatever. Or you can just drop another rank 8 for another rank 4, for example. Or even a rank 10 or rank 7 for the Sub Terrace overlay. But that rarely happens anyway. So I'm not really sure if it's worth doing that. Um, rank 4s, we just have a bunch of. Um, the Utopia, Utopia the Frightening lineup, or Utopia the Lightning, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's no, re not really, not, no reason to run this. To not run it, because uh, it's now legal in every region. So uh, This deck screws this deck over as well, because it's, it's flip effects. So if the attack goes to 5k, beats everything, and then negate the flip effects. So. But you also have it, so you can use it against your opponent. Uh, Best Dweller, Castell, two best rank 4s. Not really explanation for those. Uh, Samurai for OTKs because sometimes it does pop up. And uh, sometimes you have an extra rank 4 so you're going to attack twice with it. Uh, 101. Don't have to run this one but I like running it. Because uh, I found some room and you can run that one if you want. Um, Rafflesia because we play two bombers and stuff. So right. So turn 1 if you go into the trick clown play where you uh, do some defensive plays. Rafflesia is quite good. I run Rafflesia in most round 4 decks because uh, the play map proves that I run it. So. Um, for the other stuff, we got Gigagan X. I'm not sure if this is worth running actually, because I rarely go into this one. Because uh, I rather uh, rank forward the machines, the two machines, into something else than most of the time. So I don't know if the search or the search from the graveyard is uh, worth running uh, anymore. So uh, there's one card you could drop if you've been testing this sort of build and you don't go into this that often. Uh, maybe not run Gigagan X. Uh, Feral Limps, because as I mentioned, you can search the Reptile Subterra the Mystrix, because it's rank 4. Uh, good, good for plusing. And finally, a uh, random tech I like running is Super Quantil, Mech, Beast, Erebaros. Uh, sometimes people run Fiendish Chain, so for example, you flip that and they Fiendish Chain it, or Umistrix, they Fiendish Chain it. Uh, it's quite annoying. Uh, so you rank 4 into this instead, use this effect to flip it face down to on Fiendish Chain it and then make it go. Face down again, and then use a field spell and stuff to flip it. So it's quite nice because uh, Phoenix Gen gets the stuff and stuff. So that's just a random round four you can run. Ouroboros is pretty cool tech. So yeah, that's it for the Sub Terror deck. Uh, what do you think of this build? It's quite an interesting build. Try it on your Pro. As I said, you can download it down in the description below if you want to try it out. And hopefully, the new Sub Terror stuff are quite good and uh, probably don't need to run any other engine. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.